playing today. Kekker. Major Music Podcast. I have Chase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I recognize that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Chase, yeah, UK cool. artist. Yeah, man. I've heard a lot about you. Yeah. Wanted to come see you today in the podcast. Thank tell you, me thank about you it. for having tell me, man. About it. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I go by the name of Chase. Uh, straight out from East London, uh, branched out all the way to Amsterdam. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm here to express some love, my good music, good vibes. And yeah, man, let's, crazy, let's get it in. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So what I what I notice about your music is you got so many different styles. Yeah, you can rap UK, sing yep. UK. You can yep. also do American. Yeah. How did that start? Um. I think the American side came a lot more from uh, my parents because they also used to listen to a lot of American music when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So I grew up around listening to that, you know, like old school Biggie, old school Tupac, uh, like Mob Deep and Wu Tang, everyone. So uh, from there, I just kind of picked it up. And then late, you know, later further on in my career, I started getting more into the grime and into the drill stuff and yeah. uh, kind of Afro swing that London have mm-hmm. now also. So yeah, man, I'm just loving so like- it. You do a lot in the, like you said, like the drill and everything. But also, have you been considering doing like? Because nowadays, everyone wants to have the burner boy vibe. Yeah. Did you consider doing that, or you you just want to keep your thing? Doing it's, your thing? it's weird actually, because like I know a lot of artists that you know that do that burner boy stuff. Uh-huh. You know, and and I love it actually. So sometimes I don't even need to, because you know, like the people I work with, they be crunching yeah, it all yeah, the time. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. so um, so it's good to have that vibe. You know, that even though my vibe is not the same as that mm-hmm. it's all the time or sometimes, but like. You know they still they still uh, you know mess with my music and they still like it so um, yeah man I'm I'm in I'm in I'm in love with the with the sound right now I can't lie. Nice. So t- until now like t- it's now 2020 until now you've been bring, you've been releasing like about five songs. Yeah. That right? Five, yeah five six songs now. They've been doing alright. Yeah man but they've been doing okay. 2020 is the year where it's yeah it's getting definitely crazy. the year man definitely the year man I've been uh, I've been working real real hard um you know if uh, for anybody that's seen me uh, on my um. Uh, on my Instagram, on my socials, uh, I've been grinding every every day. Uh, you know, there's no stop, no sleep. Uh, some days I'm up for like 48 hours. You know, just non-stop going. So, you know, it's um, it's it's about the work rate. You know, and uh, I'm just in, excited for everybody to hear how much I have been working. You know, because it's uh, it's something special to me. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, how I'm, much you. Yeah, I've it's, seen it's, it. it's, can... it's got to be strong, you know, and yeah. if it's not strong, uh, people will see it and they will hear it in the music, you know, so, Definitely. and that's important for me to get across to, you know, any of my supporters and any of the fans that, you know, that, that, uh, that want to hear that, that realness, you know, so yeah. I'm going with that right now. So talk me through the rest of 2020. What's coming up? Oh man, I got a, yeah. I got a lot <laughs> on the table, man. I just, like I said, I'm on a, I just, uh, shout out to my boy, uh, uh Jalal Oba. Um, he just uh, recently put me on his uh, his album. Uh, Spotless we got, uh, mind, Spotless yeah, mind. Yeah, man, we got uh, we got a song um uh, track number seven on his new album coming out on the fourteenth of February. I mean, she go get it uh, called Black Money. Sounds crazy. I've heard it. It's, yeah, man, it's it's insane. Had, yeah, yeah, bro. It's uh, he's really tapping into uh, something that's real for him, uh, and it allows me to uh, um, give the same energy. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, yeah, man, we've been we worked real hard on that song. Um, and I know he worked real hard on his album, so it's a real good vibe, man. Yeah, and I've been noticing like a lot of producers have been um, te- uh, texting you. Not How yeah, they? they've, been, they've uh, been hitting me up yeah, a lot, even on my gram, up. on my comments, uh, and stuff like. Uh, I just got uh, like Ronnie Flex just followed me back on Instagram, oh, which is dope. Nice. Uh, also, Jay Jawson, mm-hmm. um, uh Like I said, good news with Jay. Also, he just put me on his album. Also, uh, the song that we've got coming um, in March, uh, which is going to be dope. Uh, and yeah, man, there's loads of people I've been connecting, which is good. It, it makes me feel welcome, you yeah, know, cause, definitely. especially because of the language barrier, you know, so. Well, is it is it a barrier? Because I really have thing. the idea nowadays, like all the Dutch people crave UK artists. They definitely. really do, though. Like, and it's and it's great to see that because actually I'm actually in a in a positive space now, you know, where actually people are so connected with London, you know, where like actually I'm I'm in Amsterdam one and like, you know, utilize that, you know, and so I started putting out a lot more songs uh you know that i was used to beforehand yeah. um and yeah i just started building the recognition a little bit more you know underground and you know big artists small artists hearing me out so yeah man it's been dope i think like somehow when you when you especially you for uk artists when you go to amsterdam you kind of feel home because there's so many man. english people there they really are like yeah, when i go to amsterdam I, f- I almost feel like a tourist yeah it, it's like, a real touristy area for real is. yeah there's a lot of londoners there's um uh, a lot of people from morocco also that i find um, but yeah, man, it's just, it's a real welcoming country, and I, I I I love it a lot. And and when did you notice that your music took pace? Like people starting to notice you? And um, it was uh, it was actually around March last year. Uh, 
uh, when I actually started realizing, um, you know, I got the contact from uh, from DJ Dino, mm -hmm. um, from uh, Jay Jawson also, um, and then you know I started uh, living up in uh, Rotterdam for a while with um, with a friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, and again you know I, I ended up meeting up with uh, with Kaza also. Uh, um, with Ronnie also um, and his brother Samski. So yeah, he's uh, going crazy, right? Yeah, now. man. Like we, like I said, even with Samski, we got. A, I know we've got um, a studio session that we we due to be getting in anyway mm -hmm. for a long time. So um, it's good to uh, it's good to see that he's doing his thing and yeah, definitely and growing as well. I mean, that's what I love. You Everyone's know, I, growing right now. Yeah, and it's and it's a good thing to see, man. Yeah. for real, I love it. Nice, dope, dope. So the rest of your future, the rest of your plans, the rest of what you're gonna do in your life, like it's all based in your career right now, right? Yeah. So, so right now, like I said, I've got um, I got a uh, a big song coming um for GRM uh, in the next two maybe I say maximum two three months. Um, uh, I'm shooting a video this month uh, for a song that I've got called Oli Oli. Uh, it's gonna be dope. It's a uh, real vibe energy. I've heard um, it. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm uh, I'm excited for it to just be premiered everywhere you know i just but want GRM is to a big is a big platform yeah it's, it's very very big exposure. man i hope so man i i really do um i've uh, i've messed with link up before mm -hmm. uh, link up tv yeah um also a uh, big shout out to them for uh for you know for putting me on the platform and and posting me on the on their page as well yeah definitely and stuff so uh um yeah they're real humble real humble owners you know uh um, but so now with GRM, I just want to test out the waters. Also, you know, I just want to see where the love is. You know, um, see where the support is. Also, um, and yeah, just get my music moving, and you know, and hopefully get everybody in the crowd moving to it. Also, you definitely. know, and in the clubs, you need to get people in the clubs the to go wild. Yeah, yeah definitely. Hundred percent. Like, Wuhan man. must be one of your eventually. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, bro. So um, that's just the excitement of it. You know, but I definitely think that Wuhan is definitely going to be something that's going to work out for you. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You reckon? I, I, I don't I, I, even doubt him. I'm just hundred percent certain. No, <laughs> definitely. Trust me. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a. I reckon it's gonna be a big um, a big a big song. Also, it's a. It's definitely got a lot of vibes. I feel like a lot of people can connect to it. Also, uh, definitely nod their heads to it. Also, mm -hmm. um. So yeah, just a lot of good vibes, man. A lot of good vibes that I'm trying to bring this year. Uh, you know, just to sh just to preview Chase. You know, like everybody needs to know. You know, Chase is now on the map. Chase is on the case. Yeah, man. Chase is on the case, man. Chase the money. Everything's Chase, man. I hear, I hear Chase in a lot of uh, people's lyrics. Yeah. So I just automatically say, yeah, I got a shout out. I got a shout yeah. out. I got a shout out from everybody. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. So like we've had about your music, which is coming up in 2020. Yep. We've had about your past, mm -hmm. the future. Like, what's your end goal? Um, I, my end goal, like I said, um, your personal end goal. My personal end goal, yeah. uh, I would like to sell out the Madison Square Garden, man. Yeah, that'd be yeah one one big goal for me. You know, I'd love to have that many people, you know, uh, uh, enjoying my song, yeah, yeah, and en and enjoying my vibe. You know, and I I feel that'd be a real uh, accomplishment for me. That's where I feel like uh, my my music can go. Um, you know, especially with the connections that I'm making, also, um, and just the vibes, man. You know, like I'm I'm always I'm a whole vibe. You know, what I mean, Definitely. I don't yeah, I'm not I sure feel I it. don't. I don't come to the studio with any, uh, you know, personal issues if I have them or mm -hmm. anything going on in my life that's going to disturb vibes. me all the time, man. Negativity is not the way forward when you're in this game. So, Definitely. Definitely. You know, so positive vibes is the only way it's going to carry you, man. Do you know what I mean? Show right. love. That is one thing for sure. And and what I really notice when you're in the studio is like, besides your good vibes, yeah. is the... Uh, 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 what's a good way to say it? Um... I definitely noticed that you have so much talent when you when it comes to writing, when it comes to rapping, when it comes to singing. Mm -hmm. Like what would you've learned it one day? It's not that you've you knew everything knew it, since yeah, day one. Like 100%. for the for the new rappers and for like the the young guys out there. Mm -hmm. Like what would you say to them that would help them in their career? Honestly, like you just you gotta be determined, man. You know, it's it's you know enjoy the process, of course. You know, uh, you know, make sure you you definitely are you know having fun and you're being creative and you're comfortable. Um, but I definitely say, you know, it takes a lot of determination, man. You know, you're going to, you're going to get knocked down a lot of times, uh, especially if you're doing it on your own, yeah. especially if you got nobody it's on difficult. your corner, it's difficult. um, especially if nobody understands why you're doing what you're doing, you know? So, um, I definitely say for everybody that's, uh, you know, independently moving, um, to definitely just, you know, keep your head up. Uh, keep going. Yeah, and make sure you got them high knees when you're when you're traveling through the long grass, man. Because you know there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of obstacles in your way. Uh, but you gotta be your own motivation. You know, at, at the same time as you know your family being around you and your and your friends. You know, 
um, you know, you have to make sure you're on the on the, you're on a straight and narrow, yeah. and you're the one carrying you. Definitely, you know, because you you can only bring yourself to where you you're where you're destined to be. You know, you know, nobody else can see. You know, uh, um, you know, like the the other side of the grass, man. You know, it's only you. You're the chosen one. You know, and after that's if you believe that, you know, you almost talk into existence. You know, do you know what I mean? Sometimes it has Some to happen. Some inspirational words. Yeah, man. Yeah, for real, bro. You do, man. It's, it's a long road, man. You know, it's it not is. something. It definitely is. These things don't just happen, you know, overnight, mm-hmm. you know. For some people it does, but some people like it's, you know, there's levels to it. You know, some people, definitely. someone might shoot all the way up here, you know, and you're still here and you're thinking, why are you not there? But, you know, you got you got to think to yourself, eventually I'm going to get better and better. Yeah, even though that person's still there and he's making number ones, you're going to get to number one. Eventually, you know, eventually you you're gonna yeah, get there. To, yeah. You know, and as long as you strive and that determination is still there, bro, you're always gonna make it. So, that's yeah, man, that's words. what I say to all the young, you know, the all the young G's and the young females <laughs> doing their thing right now. <laughs> so, what's on the the best on the planning for you? Um, for me, uh, like today, 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 today. So, obviously, I have this. Uh, you know, where we're we're here today. Um, at the podcast. Um, uh, which is actually my first podcast. Oh shit! It's going <laughs> yeah. actually really good. Yeah, it's going alright actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. My knees are not shaking, so uh, <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> don't check. Don't check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Um. No. I'm. I'm comfortable, man. I'm. Uh. Yeah. But I've got this today. Uh. I've got a studio session just after this with Nixon. Um. From Funex, if everybody cool knows guy. who he is. Shout out Nixon. Um, yeah. Shout out Nixon, man. He's a dope guy, man. He's uh. He's also been here rocking with me for a while. Um. You know, really helping me out on my process and on my growth. Um, and on my progress He's a good guy um, Yeah man He's a real dope guy man Real warm hearted as yeah. well man I'd definitely say that man Definitely yeah, I mean uh, He's a he's a real uh, Curious sour brother as well You know So um, uh, Yeah so I've got a session with him uh, After this And a little meeting also uh, And then I'm shooting a video tonight uh, Yeah what? man uh, what for, for? for a new song actually uh, It's called Attached um, uh, I haven't I wrote it a while ago uh, I recorded it also a while ago Last year sometime um, but I've been sitting on it for a while, but it keeps popping back up in my playlist when mm-hmm. I'm listening to my own songs in the car. Yeah. So um, I just decided today I was like, look, I'm gonna hit my manager up. I mean, and uh, and let my videographer know that I'm shooting a video today. Da da da. So you just, just need to get moving. it done. Yeah, man. I'm just I'm very quick. Sick. I'm just very like I like to get things done. You know, I don't. I'm not really the one to wait around and to. You just you know, wanna keep Yeah, going, man. Keep I'm just going. on a very. I'm on my own. I'm in my own Lamborghini, man. I ain't got no one in the passy like that. Sick. Yeah, bro. Nice. It's good to hear. Like, and, and can you give us a little like, what's the whole vibe to the video? Uh, so the vibe of this, of this video is uh is very much um uh again you know the independent feel you know the whole self motivation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not allowing you know uh, the downs to really you know to get you, to get you down with them. You know, is a uh, you know real motivational, uh, good vibes also, um, and just being free, man, and just allowing yourself to 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 remember that you know that, you know you haven't got to be, um, you haven't got to let everybody know that you're attached to the game, yeah, for you to be attached to the game, you know, yeah, like, you can you can be hard working and be under the radar and still be attached. You know, until it's your time, it's your time in it. But you, you until that sure day, just keep yeah, going. Yeah, keep, keep going, going, keep going. That's why I say the determination is so key. So, so like yeah, man. the whole video clip thing, does that like explain the the Hennessy? Or? Um, it, you know what it is. <laughs> this is my good vibes. Anyway, you know, this is not even uh, Hennessy right now as well. I I do usually have Hennessy, but um, JD, or, um, yeah. Yeah, JD was just Sorry. doing the doing a trick right now, but um, but no, he's right though. Hen- Gen- Hennessy is what I usually have. Mm-hmm. Um, that's usually today's my vibe. Jackie. Yeah, today is Jackie Daniels. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the honey flavor as well, so it's actually oh, it's sweeter good, good. than usual. Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent, <laughs> a lot sweeter than usual. So um, it's like candy. Nice. Yeah. So do, you, do you always bring it with you? Uh, was it just sometimes on yeah, occasions? It's just, yeah, it's it's an occasional thing. Like I don't always um I don't always drink at the studio, mm-hmm. but sometimes I'll be having it there just to. You know, good vibes. Yeah, good vibes, man. Like when you go out to a club, you don't have to drink, but people do good enjoy vibes. the vibes. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Why so not? that's what I think, man. I'm not gonna. I don't think I go into the studio with like 20 chicken wings. You know, like no, um, that would be a good one though. It, like, it would just be imagine if I was just... hungry, but I'd probably eat before I went to the studio. You know, yeah. I'm I'm a prepared type guy. You know, you'd already eaten your wings. Yeah, I've already eaten 20 wings and so. chips probably, <laughs> and and two Fernandes, <laughs> green and blue. <laughs> green and blue, the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah not no, no, no. I don't really. You know what it is? The red one is. Uh, it doesn't really agree with my taste buds. No. Yeah, it's not really. really that. <laughs> it doesn't really agree with them. So uh, I, I keep that out. I, I stick to the green and blue, man. So, right. Yeah, we, man. We've had. A, we've, we've spoken about a couple of things. Your music. Yeah, bro. Yeah. The motivational yeah, part. Yeah, hundred percent. My motivation is key. 
What else is What is something Well I mean A lot of people Still need to get to know you Yeah But what is one certain thing That people don't know of you yet And you've actually Never told anyone yet Oh okay So like a secret Yeah oh, like that's that, fine. No, that no one knows Like A secret nobody knows yeah. Oh like, Well maybe okay. a few people um, One thing that you would Spoil to people That don't know you One thing Um I would spoil to people is this a difficult uh, question. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna think because I'm you know what it is and I, I know that there's some people right <laughs> that are gonna that are gonna be like what uh-huh. how did it, if I say something crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. right so Did I'm you gonna just think, need to think about it yeah yeah I don't want to say something too crazy but I want to say something crazy <laughs> enough yeah, yeah yeah so um uh what can I say uh the craziest thing nobody knows uh. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna say two things, right? I'm gonna say the first thing is that I'm scared of spiders, which right? Is, yeah, okay. which is normal, right? Which because normal, nobody likes normal. things yeah. with eight legs. No, okay. yeah, I don't believe anybody that says, "Oh, I like spiders. I like it." Nobody has a spider running around their house, no. right? You got to think everybody that has a spider or a tarantula has a cage. Definitely, yeah. why we don't if, have it? Yeah, that loose, yeah, yeah. If you love the spider so much, why do you have the cage? That's a good one. You know, you should Never let it run around like the dog. Yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I don't like spiders though. That's not really my game, man. I don't. Uh, I don't like the way they can move uh, fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like the way they're big and furry. Um, that's not me. Uh, another secret is actually uh, is actually about a performance, right? And the first performance I ever done, um, I was my mom, my my dad, my grand was there mm-hmm. also, my auntie, His whole family. Um, yeah, two of my uncles actually. I remember it very, very, very clearly. Um, and I was on stage, right? And I was actually just dancing. I was in a dance group back mm-hmm. then. I wasn't even performing like singing wise. Um, and I had a solo, uh, and it was like quite like a like a gangster solo as well. Mm-hmm. Like I had like the the mask on yeah, 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 and like yeah. the ca- the cargo trousers like all black and everything. And um and I was dancing right, and I remember beforehand actually i had had chinese food uh-huh. right yeah. now there's this big thing going around at the moment about the chinese food yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah that people eating bats and eating yeah. frogs uh-huh. and all them things there right so i ate chinese food before going on stage and this was a good maybe maybe even like six seven years ago uh-huh. like when i was a bit younger right yeah, yeah. i'm 24 now mm-hmm. so i was on stage dancing dancing and i remember once right i was about to go and do a uh, uh like a flick up right so from the yeah, floor yeah, yeah. it's like right you flick up and I remember when I went down and I just felt, and I was like, what was that? And I was just in my head, I was there just like this, right? And I was on the stage on my back with my legs in the air cramped up, right? About to do the, yeah, the yeah, flick yeah. up, right? And I must have flicked up straight away, went whoop, all the way. Next thing you hear is straight over all of the front. <laughs> my mom, my mum, my, my dad, I hit the sick with my aunties. And I think maybe some of my some of my uncles as well. I hit them with all of the sick because they had front row seats. No shit. Yeah, so that was like a real, real big thing. So since that day, I've I actually haven't eaten Chinese. Says you know, yeah. So it's not even actually because of the whole no. the whole uh, you know conversation that's happening right now. Uh-huh. I really just don't eat Chinese regardless because, because it made me vomit on stage. And then when I'd vomited, I was getting taken away. Uh-huh. And then when I got inside, I was on the toilet yeah. and I was sicking. And then I was I was I was running in the other way, you yeah. know, throughout throughout the backside. Yeah. So I had a bit of diarrhea as well. <laughs> everything, like, yeah, it, everything was bad. So I had real bad like food poisoning. So it was like um, oh, but it was a real embarrassing moment, you know. Yeah, like everybody imagine. on stage, yeah. I'm just being sick everywhere, you know, in front of like a theater based, you know, crowd. So like people are sitting down enjoying. You left your the, mark there. Yeah, I really did. Man. I left my mark, my scent, <laughs> everything, bro. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's like once you get there, like everyone will remember the chase. Yeah, the everybody remember that. Yeah, that, that's. <laughs> a day that nobody will forget actually that probably happened that that little joke probably happens a lot more than i think 100 <laughs> well, percent. major music podcast mm-hmm. chase gang shit man thank you for having me <laughs>